All right. So I'm going to get this. I've got this uh, bolt. This is a uh, this is a uh, a sway bar end link bolt off of like a Chevy truck. And these are a bunch of bushings and stuff off of my hub grappler and other suspension uh, um, press type things. I just stacked up a bunch of junk on here just to, something to get it so I could press this thing out without having to go buy a special tool. Now it's not pretty but it works. It's going to do the job. Just have to kind of stick all this stuff together. you need to stack it right it needs to have this small one on there so it goes through the hole on the end I don't have a whole bunch of threads so I can only get it to go so far and that's fine as long as it comes out I'm about to hit this with the impact wrench. So if you've got your speakers turned up real loud or anything, you have been warned about the impact wrench is going to hit this sucker good. I think I got the right size here. Two millimeters. pretty easy there compared to other things I've done, other bushings. That's it. Even though it comes out that way, it's when it's installed, it's just a wobbly little mess. So get rid of that. Get our silicone. Get this baby. Get this baby juiced up nice. <laughs> These bushings didn't come with much instructions. I don't appreciate it at all. They don't tell you how to get the old one out. They don't tell you how to put the new one in. They don't tell you nothing. So I'm just kind of going by previous polyurethane bushing install, you know, type of methods here. May not be the perfect method, but from my experience, these type of polyurethane type bushings need, need lube everywhere. And chances are they may be a little noisy because the density of the polyurethane is it's going to need it on this face too because this face moves when the suspension goes up and down it moves and it's going to slide inside here so but that's how that goes there we've got a uh, metal sleeve that goes in the middle Makes it real easy to put this type of stuff together because So, 
slide that little feller in there. Get some lube on the outside. Get a little lube everywhere. That'll make it right on. Because when it's all bolted together, this bolt in the center is what's holding it. Everything else just kind of guides along. So I'm going to go get a rag and clean my hands now. So we've got a mess. All right, so let's see about this strut coming out. Now this, get this all this stuff wiggled around a little bit. And it lowers down some. Get it to go down enough to get that little thing to come out. See, there you go. Not that bad. Just throw it somewhere far away. Get that new one lined up. Now before you put the new one in, I always like to get up here on this strut thing because there's always dirt in there. Okay, you see that dirt coming out? When you tighten up the bolts for the strut at the top, these two bolts up here, you tighten up these nuts that go on from the top of the, the, the body side. You don't want a, a bunch of dirt and stuff to be right there, so I like to get my finger get up there and clean clean that off a little bit and you can blow it out with compressed air but that kind of makes a mess inside the car which in this car here don't think it matters that much but just the idea is is that the pad where the face of the nut makes contact with the body needs to be clean and not have a bunch of debris under it or it'll rock and then if it rocks, it'll make funny noises. And you'll have a tough time figuring out where it is. And once it gets a break, and once it gets a brunelling on there, then it's not gonna it's not gonna tighten up like you want it. Alright. Get this little feather oriented right. Dive that sucker in there, like so. And there you are. You can set it like this on something so that the bolts go through, but uh, chances are you're not going to get what you want. Uh, what I've done, oops, something sticking on my hand. What I did on the other side was I put the bottom bolt in and I lifted it up with a jack. This side's not lining up right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. I got it in position pretty nicely. The place I want to go now is this right here and get these three bolts put in, but have this loose. Okay, have this, the new one, have it kind of loosely fitting. Okay, you don't want to tighten anything up yet because it's going to be a problem. This thing is going to be a tricky. The other side, I spend a lot of time messing with it. Face that off a bit. Put these little fellers in there first. Goodness. The other side, I didn't do that. I thought I was smart and I put it up there at the top first. And I spent a lot of time messing with it. I put Loctite on these. You can or cannot, it's up to you. It's your choice. Torque down to 95. These are very important. You don't ever want something like this to come loose or anything because it's going to be a big problem. I'll be putting Loctite on just about everything under here. They go in nice and easy like this, but boy, because of the torsion and the things that are happening with this bar here 
trying to put this in to put these bolts in after you put it align that up there at the top it's a heck of a job I don't know if I mentioned it or not but when I took this bottom out here I just saw it I don't think I mentioned it I put a little I marked it where the alignment was previously right here with a so I can put it back it'll be close to what it was before it'll be good enough for you to be able to drive it so that's the idea it's the reason why so you can get it in the car and drive it to the alignment shop because it will need alignment after you take this off you take all this stuff apart I mean it might be okay for a little ways but you're gonna have funny tire wear and so it's a good idea to get an alignment and get that taken care of all this chunk out of the way all right this thing here is going to be a tricky little feller to get in This side here has got damage on it, so I'm going to have to mess with some of this damage. That may be a problem. If somebody ran over something and bent it all up. So y'all have to put some of this other together and get it aligned better so that I can get this to go in probably. That's kind of how it's looking. And to replace that bushing all the way in the front, it has a T-bar that goes through the bushing, so I don't... I don't know how to do that. I mean, I don't think that's possible to do it without a special machine. So you probably have to replace this whole lower control arm to do that big one in the front. And I don't think this other bushing is intended as part of this kit that this came with. I don't think it's the same. It's not the same size, so that ain't gonna fit. This little guy here wants to just go flailing about. And that's the trick with this one. Make sure you. Yep, it only goes in one way, so get it lined up pretty good and get that thing in there. The bolt with the blunt end goes on the strut. The bolt with the the sharp end, like this, goes over here on that thing. Let me get this thing closer to being together and not all falling apart everywhere. get all this stuff together and when I tighten it <clears throat> I'll tighten it up when the suspension is compressed I'll probably have to get it get the jack under here and get that jack to assist pushing this thing up in position all right so I've got quite a bit of messing around here uh, I've got this bolt in and of course these are loose they're all loose okay got the two bolts in the top of the strut there this is I have this suspended with a just a third hand just holding this up so it's just hanging there out of the way because I, I needed that clearance on this uh, on this lower control arm this giant lower control arm so where it sets now is pretty close I mean we're getting pretty close to where we need to be of going back together nicely 
And right now, I hope my head's not too far away. I'm just lining this strut up a little bit. All these bushings and stuff are all rubbery and you know, you just kind of have to get in there and push things around and try not to break anything. There we go. It's nice to have some of these drift pins like this to, to line it up. It's got junk on it. This helps a lot. Putting it in that hole and getting her in the right spot. So that's what we're working on. That's what I'm working on right now. It's getting close. Right now I've got that strut coming in. And it's all loose. There's nothing tight on it. I'm just trying to get it. It's tweaked a little bit. There we go. See here. There we go. All right, so that's in a good spot. And now I can just jack this up with the jack and get this one lined up a little better. And also I can lower my third hand down, but it's always gonna line up better in its, in its neutral, static ride height position. It's always gonna line up better. So we'll see how that goes in just a minute. Find one of these bolts floating around somewhere. All right, so I had to dig the bolt up. It's over there in all the sockets and things. But yeah, uh, this strut bolt, it doesn't have a point on the end of it. It's just a blunt end. The only one that has a point is this one here on this, on this arm here. And this other, these other bolts, they have a little bit of a point, but not like that one. So if I can get this thing to go in there. Got a little bit of a adjustment here. This comes along with the territory. Anytime you're doing bushings, you're gonna have to mess with it. Finagle that little feller in there. You see all this stuff. We'll get it all in there but not tighten it up because you don't want it to be all twisted and stuff. You want it to thing will go in there. You want it to be static so that when you push that suspension into a ride height position, then you tighten everybody up so it's in that neutral spot. It goes down, it twists that bushing, okay? And it goes back to neutral. It goes up, it twists that bushing, and goes back to neutral. If you don't do it right, it'll just rip, that bushing will just rip itself to pieces. Let's see here, it's not, not cooperating. Get it to cooperate a little better. see where we're going all right there we go just gotta get the very bottom of that strut now you'll notice that with all struts there's there's a little bit of torsion in there sometimes when they put it together it's not perfect so you have to turn a little bit at the bottom that's just what I did just now Started. 
get this to go in a better spot. Try it this way first. Make sure, make sure you don't have anything binding. Farley. Might have to lower that third hand down a little bit. started in there. It's a little tight. coming up so there we go a bit more baby alright yeah we'll have to lower that third hand down it's not letting me not letting me go in that one there is a little tight See daylight on this one, so that's good. There we go. Run it like you own it. Just a little bit. Figure out which way we need to go. Thank you. 
the wrong size portion of it. <clears throat> That's what the problem is. Put the wrong bushing in there. All right, all right. One of the sleeves has a smaller hole in it than the other one. Boy, that sucker there took me out for lunch. Goodness. We'll fix that quick here. The kit comes with a couple for different models. Different models have different motions. I need to pay attention to that. Let's hang out. Let's fix our bubble. doesn't fit <laughs> so we'll make sure and get the right one on there because that's not fun we just want to have fun around here all right make sure it's looped up nice All the times I've done these, the bushings fit so tight it makes you wonder how this lube stuff is even going to help any at all. There we go. I'm glad I figured it out because I was about to beat the crap out of it. There we go. That's the thing about that kit it didn't say I mean it's for different models but it didn't say anything about different size bolts and things whatever should pay closer attention right there we go that's more better
and just make sure that your your clocking on this is clocked correctly and you're in good shape. So we're good. Don't want to go up over the edge and get over here beat dog. Oh just out here working. Out here working. What you up to today? That's good. Working on this little Honda, getting them bushings done. And... He went out and paid somebody to fill her up, so that's what she's doing right now. Her massage. All right. 